Right, hi. Um, I think this is the first tutorial uh, on this channel. Today we're going to be learning how to make a Japanese flat and crane origami, or origami even. Um, if you haven't seen one, this is what it is. You should recognise it. It's quite famous. Anyway, it's kind of there. Um, I just thought that since Heavy Rains just came out for the PS3, people might want to learn how to make an origami. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So you're going to need, unless you have a square piece of paper, we're going to need some scissors for this. Um, but you only, only need scissors if you have an A-sized piece of paper, which is a rectangular piece of paper. Um, so if you already have a square piece of paper, then you don't need scissors. Alright, onto it. Fold it out in a line. Like that. The issue is quite precise. If it's not, then you're not going to have a very good... Uh, Origami. All right, then flip this bottom bit over the top. Yeah, sure that is also precise. And then flip it back up like that. Get your scissors and just cut that bottom bit off there. Whoops. All right. Now I don't need these bits anymore. Alright, then just ring sure that fold is there. Alright, now if you have a square piece of paper, you can now uh, do what we're doing, fold the diagonal line down there. Once you've folded that diagonal line, fold another diagonal line the other way. Again, make sure it's quite, quite uh, precise. Being sure that fold is being folded nicely. Fold it the other way again. And then open it back up. Right now we're going to be making some horizontal folds. Fold it that way. Make it a crease. Now when you fold it horizontally, make sure that the tip of this triangle here is right at the top of this line, uh, right at the top of the paper, to make it even more precise. Right. Pop it back up. Fold it. Pull another horizontal line the other way. Again, make sure the top of the triangle is right at the top of the page. And then open that back up. Now you should see, if you've done it correctly, you should see a plus sign and the letter X on the paper. Uh, so like an eight slice of pizza, I'm just going to say. <laughs> anyway, um, once you've done that, place your index fingers between the two sides of the paper so they don't meet and just alright I've done that and then just you should have something that looks like that once you've met the corners you just fold make it into a square alright you should have that and now I'm going to put it back onto the table. When you put it onto the table, you should have the open side facing towards you and the closed side facing away. The open side is where you can open like that, the closed side is where you just can't. Alright. Take. Take. I'm going to take just one. See how, with, how there's two <coughs> little bits there. We're going to take one bit here and just fold over like a kite. So, like a kite shape, like that. <coughs> and then do the same on the other side. I just zoom in there for you a little bit. Alright, maybe that should do. Alright. And you should see a sort of kite in front of a diamond shaped background. Turn it over, and then. Make another kite shape with the exact same thing on the other side. And now you should have just a normal kite. Alright, and take this top triangle a bit and fold it over the kite. Make sure the tip of the triangle meets the centre line there. Make a crease. Fold it back up. This is the hard bit. 
open these flaps, place the index finger down the triangle, flip it over, open this up right here, and just fold it down like this. Turn it over, do the exact same thing, flip the triangle down, and the crease, open the flaps, place the index finger down, flip it over, open it up, and fold the sides down like that. Right. Now, when you open this up, there will be a little triangle here. That should be facing away from you. Close that back. And you're going to take just this bit here and open it up like that. And we're going to fold this triangle up there. And then fold it back across. And do the exact same thing. Fold that along there. Take this bottom triangle bit. Fold that up to there. And close it. Now you should just have a normal triangle like that. And now we're going to hold it at the bottom centre with our thumb and our index finger. And you just take out these, these little bits here. Take them out like that. See them on the other side. And then you should ha you should be, be, be uh, begin to see the shape of the Japanese crane right there. To make the head, just fold the top part of this little of one of the um, one of the sides just pulled out. Fold it in there, just quench it together like that. Bring it back out, and just quench it back together like that. Now you should have the head done. Alright, now we're just going to open up these wings, fold them down there, a little, just, just a little bit, don't press down really hard. Put them back up there. Now face the head away from you and get your index finger inside the wings. Like that. And just sort of pre press on the back of the wings. Like that. So you get the wings like that. Hold its front bit and pull on its tail. Oh crap. And it should be flapping. That wing's a little bit bad, but it'll do. Alright, and now you have your Japanese crane. Uh, okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please rate, comment, uh, and also subscribe. I'll try and get some more origami tutorials up. I'll try and make the dog, the bird. There's also a blowy up balloon one, uh, which you can fill up with water and throw it off people and get them soaking wet. <laughs> so I'll try and get that up as well. Um, so stay tuned, and there'll be more up later.